Hey everyone, Joel Answer. Today we're in Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury, United Kingdom, guys. Outside, Smoke Stop, Smoke Stop Barbecue, guys. Here doing their Houston Heartstopper Challenge. So this is an almost undefeated challenge. There's been over a thousand attempts there, and then that, he said that's like a minimum 1,000. So it could be upwards of 2,000 attempts. The challenge has been, again, pretty much undefeated for over eight years. Like the whole time this restaurant has been, there has been one winner, um, which is a Mr. Uh, Kyle Kyle versus food. He did it in 57 or 58 out of the 60 minutes. So a very difficult challenge. It is a 45 quid if you uh, have to pay for the challenge or 45 pounds. It is free if you complete it. And if you are a non-professional, you can get a cash jackpot. It's currently about 250 bucks, although we don't qualify. That being said, it should be pretty good. So we're in the quest for a free meal, maybe a t-shirt, uh, but that's pretty much that. So like I said, it has a giant beef patty. It has pulled pork on it, cheese, bacon, a locally made bun. I'll get you the rest of the details. One hour, let's go see if we can get completion. Mr. Scott here as well. Yes. And that, let's go eat. All right, everybody, so here are with the burgers. Very, very large, I will say, the Houston Heartstopper. I think it's a suiting name. Um, so like we said, massive beef patty being uh, 1,500 grams, pulled pork, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, onions, house custom made bun, lots of cheese, house made barbecue sauce, which is a bourbon and Coke, I believe. So that's pretty cool. Uh, lots of bacon as well. That's pretty much it. My first burger in the United Kingdom. Scott's first burger in the United Kingdom. Also his first food challenge attempt in the United Kingdom. Technically my third. Um, we do have some ketchup guys. You know, I'm all about that ketchup. I'm gonna try some. This has been my first time actually trying ketchup in the UK. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Astonishing guys. Might use it all. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. Uh, let's get rock and roll in 60 minutes. Ready to rock? Let's do it. Let's do it. It's been uh it's been almost a year since we did challenge together, actually, so... Too long. Yeah, it's been yeah, a while, man. Yeah. So, and here we are, across the pond, so let's get going. So, uh, how about we get going? Okay. Let's we'll say at the count of... Give us, Scott, give us a countdown, Scott. I All right, we'll go from three, two, one, begin. Let's eat. Oh. I'm gonna Cheers. Hug some yeah. veggies out. Ooh, it's actually a tasty pickle. Mm. I like pickle. Scott doesn't. Oh, yeah. I'm getting there. I'm just putting my meat right there. I'm gonna get some of these veggies down. Mm. This is my first pickle in the UK too. Mm -hmm. That barbecue sauce is actually mm. really good. Mm -hmm. And juicy, guys. Lots of meat juice. I love this burger. That sounds a little weird. <laughs> Nonetheless. It's good meat to bun ratio overall. Definitely. And no fries. Mmm. <laughs> a little different. Mm. Seriously though. That barbecue sauce. Oh yeah. Mm. Woo. And we do have an extra bottle of it here too. Have some delicious beef here as well. Mm. Cooked delightfully. I'm excited to give it a go. Mm -hmm. My first cow in the United Kingdom. Mm. All right, let's bring this meat back. And I, like I said, we got a ketchup pile here. More ketchup on deck. Let's try this. Mmm. Oh, that is good. Mm -hmm. I do also get a, a bit of a taste from pulled pork. I know they season this with their own kind of signature seasoning. I can say, 
I think it tastes a little different than North American beef. I'm kind of kidding, guys. It's, it's pretty much the same. Very good, though. Man, there's a lot of bacon. Oh, yeah. And I believe I quote, they said there is 10 rations of bacon. That's from terminology I'm not used to. Mm. Oh, wow. I got a bite with that pulled pork there for sure. There's a few terms we're not used to around here, right? You were telling me something earlier. Wow. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of meat here, man. Woo! What'd you think of the ketchup? I think it's the same. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised by that. Definitely taste that bourbon. Look that pulled pork. And the, uh, the Coke and the bourbon mm -hmm. and that barbecue sauce. All right, so we're five minutes in. I finished all the bacon, about half done the patty. Joel? How about Sam? Yeah, and he's, I think you got some pulled pork too. Did you get to try that yet? Yeah, I did. Very, Very good. nice. Did you try it yet? Not yet. Oh, saving it. I love it, so definitely want to save it. Some more ketchup power going. There's a bit of crust, like crunch on that bun, I can tell around the edges. Mm -hmm. Might require some work. You didn't realize this was going to be a working vacation, did you? <laughs> oh, I very much did. <laughs> We're anticipating this is going to be a long challenge. Yeah, like we said before, only one person beat it and it was just over 57 minutes, so. And that's out of thousands, if not over thousands, so. Yeah. Can't underestimate something like that. And we are about coming on seven minutes in. No complaints. Lots of meat. Ooh, this one's not wearing hiccups. Mm. One of the worst feelings during a challenge would be hiccups. Mm. I can say I've, uh, yeah. There's better, there's other things I would prefer, but hey, we would all work. Excuse me. That's better. A little more room now. Compliment to the chef. Yeah. So when was the last time we went? Mm, yesterday. Did you need anything today? This morning. Only because I was on the plane. Yeah. Right, yeah. The event just came out. Mm-hmm. So I didn't have 11. Ah, uh, 11, 12, yeah. And here we are. <laughs> Shrewsbury. What are we, three hours northwest of England? Or London, I should say. It took us all, produced by about four and a half or five, but. Mm -hmm. I think it should be more like three and a half. All right. Just over eight and a half minutes in. Basically both done the beef. Or just everything else. Joel's already finished his healthy vegetables. First things first. So 
pulled pork. Lots of sauce on that. Mm. Just over 10 minutes in, finished all the beef except for the pulled pork, so not all the beef. Joel's finished his vegetables and got, I don't know, just a little bit left on top of the buns and then those massive buns, so. Buns, no shortage of buns, mm -mm. Hashtag big buns or little buns? Let me know down below. If I'm making fun of Scott too, apparently the pulled pork is beef, so. <laughs> hey, maybe across the pond, I don't know. <laughs> Doing good guys. We're gonna have lots of cheese and bacon here. Mm-hmm. And then buns in about 30 seconds. Eleven and a quarter in. And I will say this American cheese tastes a little different. It's a lot actually. Mm -hmm. No shortage of protein to that. Twelve and a half minutes in. Get his bacon done. And we're both basically on the bottom. Got this with a little bit veggies. 14 and 2, buddy. So you said a ration of bacon, you mean like a slice, right? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I assume so. But I'd like to double check. Oh, wow. Delicious, though. I'm not sure the food. Thank you. Alright. Get some bun action going. I'll probably try with the top one, the bottom one probably a little easier. It's soaked in nice juices. <clears throat> this is gonna take some work. This is a bit of a textured drug. Definitely hearty. Definitely hearty. Locally made though. <clears throat> and specialty, just for this, is why I need to give 48 hours notice to your town. That works. Let's start with the taco <clears throat> slash sandwich. I think there's some water involved in this. I'll see what this bottom bun's like. Oh, this seems a lot juicier. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. Got penetration of juices. 17, about 10 seconds in. So Joel and I were at the supermarket today and what we did notice about it was the fruits and vegetables, all the produce is like really, really cheap here in the UK. They, it's unbelievable for 
It's about three or four times, I'd say about three times cheaper than it is in Man, Canada. Minimum, yeah. Yeah. Fun fact. Splenda mm -hmm. is also a lot cheaper. And just some items, substantially. I'm certain that some things are more expensive, but... What do y'all think of that burdock and dandelion soda? You guys like that? Good. Yeah? <laughs> Got some yeses and no's. We tried it. It was good. Oh, wasn't bad. Floral. Mm-hmm. I brought you 22 and a half minutes into, uh, excuse me, burgers and chill. We're making our way. Scotch is real well. I hope this is just down some runs. And hopefully we'll get that win. Defy the one out of thousands. Got some air in me, guys. I'm gonna have a burp at some point. Mm. I stress my throat, trying to get it to come out. Anyway, we're uh, just over, <coughs> well, 26 and a quarter, three quarters, sorry. Almost 27. Both just out of buns. Be here, done momentarily. Hopefully. I won't jinx it. Maybe I just did. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Not quite done yet. This is got a spot to be though. Can't leave any dough. And we are finished there. All right, I think it was about 27, maybe 35, something like that. So, big burger. I enjoyed it. The Houston Heart Stopper is definitely a sizable one. Scott is just finishing up here, guys. Literally, he only has, you know, the size of a handful of bread here. And he'll be done here just momentarily. So, Scott, keep up the good work. Everybody give him a round of applause. Woo! But, in the meantime, I'm going to continue to enjoy this Sprite Zero, which they have on a fountain. Which I like never see. I find that very uncommon. Let me know where you've seen that similarly down below. Canada, East North America, that's not very common. Most places in like a diet or you know zero calorie option. Mostly it's just Coke, you know, Coke Zero slash Diet Coke. These Pepsi products obviously are different. And if you're in the southern United States, you obviously have your Diet Dr Pepper, but Sprite Zero. <sighs> nice change. Who would have known I had to come to the UK for it? Oh, and by the way, guys, ketchup, or what some people somewhere call tomato sauce because they call it ketchup here, it's right on the bottle. That's good. In the UK. No complaints. So 
there you go, guys. I got the A-OK -okay from some people in the UK. And Scott is finished. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! All right. Good job, my friend. Scott, Woo. just shy of 30 minutes. Good job, my friend. Thank you, thank you. How was that? Very delicious. I really enjoyed the all the meats, uh, especially the pulled pork. Love the sauce that they had on there. Um, and yeah, it was overall, it was a nice challenge. There was no fries, which was beautiful with a nice meat to bun ratio. So it was a really good challenge overall. I'm gonna give an extra kudos to that. That meat to bun ratio is appreciated. There's a lot of challenges out there, at least across the pond, the other across the pond in North America, which are often overly loaded with French fries and or ridiculously sized buns. So I appreciate this. Like you said, good bun to meat ratio. Yeah. Tasty, no complaints. They, I've seen, I, I, I didn't try any of their other barbecue, but I saw it and I smelt it and it smells good. Getting a barbecue is a little harder, uh, kind of this, that smoked meat barbecue is a little harder over in this part of the world than it is, you know, in, let's say the Southern United States. So I think it's super cool. They are bringing kind of that food, that culture over here. Um, I do love barbecue, but I got to enjoy a very good burger today. So guys, Smokestop Barbecue, if you're ever in the Shrewsbury area, sure stop on by. Cool spot. It's a really like, I don't know if it's traditional, but it looks like a house kind of outside. I like the look of it. And a cool style in here. It's very homey. Yeah. And a little, 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 little I'd say almost like American Southern twang to it. So anyway guys, with that, we get the meals for free, which is pretty dang cool. Again, we don't qualify for the jackpot, but if we did, it would be what? Two, about 250 pounds or so? Half the night. Yeah, about 250 pounds. So if you guys are not a professional eater or not a competitive eater or not an etc., you can come in and give it a shot and maybe win 250 pounds. Um, but that, guys, we beat it. We beat the yeah. almost undefeated challenge. No, nine years, over a thousand attempts. That ain't too bad. So. Officially the quick. Officially the quickest. There you go, guys. So everyone, of course, the next time, say happy with hungry, happy eating. What's about that? I no complaints. So that, I think the student say cheers. 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 And as we enter into the gallery, oh my gosh, look at this. Everybody, look at the ceiling. This is stunning. The, this, the, the camera does not do this justice. Oh my gosh. Dude, look at this. Stunning. All right, everybody, we got some old jaws of all kinds of critters. We got all kinds of shells, so mammalian life including you know some pieces of ancient critters here all kinds of this these are some big bones and stuff right here again some more very very like dinosaur level animals we have kind of stuffed animals taxidermy some more fossils. This is actually talking about how fossils are formed. That's pretty interesting. Well, that's kind of cool. It's like a jaw. You can see where it's been split. Obviously, a lot more fossils. Fish fossil is pretty cool. And the crazy thing is how old many of these pieces are. They're saying that, like, even some... Yeah, look at this, guys. These pieces are supposed to be from, you know, 23 to 1.8 million years ago. Uh, the crazy thing with a lot of this too, is just like these, some of these have been found, like a lot of them in the 1800s, look at that. That's from 1853. Crazy that it's still, you know, so well preserved. There you guys, from a, a South Dakota, only 66 million years ago, here's a triceratops, like bone slash skull. That is absolutely insane. Scott, like, like stand behind it, like look how big this is. Like this thing is huge. It's hard to imagine. I mean, it's like an elephant. It's like an elephant, really. Look at the size of the tusks. Yeah, like I said, this would be like the size of an elephant if not bigger, so that's crazy. Here we have a Stratosaurus, like bottom jawbone. 
which is huge. It's the size of a car. And that's kind of the recreated critter there. Crazy to think. And they found that in the land in Oxfordshire. Nuts. Here we got some dinosaur skeletons. Fossils, I guess you could say. That is a pretty cool looking fossil right there. Teeth. Oh, really? It's from Edmonton? Edmonton, Alberta, guys. <laughs> Edmontonosaurus. <laughs> oh, Edmontonosaurus. Oh, I thought it was Edmonton. South Dakota. Dude, there's a lot of these from South Dakota. Yeah. Must be a lot of dinosaurs in South Dakota. And look at this, guys. Look at the jaw of this sperm whale. Giant. Yeah, 18 feet tall. Crazy. Here we got some more of the more interesting dinosaurs. We got like T-Rexes and stuff back there. Yeah, this is stunning. What I just can't get over is the uh, beautiful, like the beauty of this building. Like just the architecture, the way these lights are, or like the ceiling. I don't know guys, this is, uh, it's actually a lot more, it's, it's better than I thought it was gonna be. It's pretty cool. I mean, we got lots more to see. Here we go guys, got the big old T-Rex. Probably the most, I'd say, famous piece in this museum, or at least one of them. Here we have the anthropology and like pottery part. So this is insane guys, there's like so much to see here. I mean, you know, these are all from Africa, just dating back so many years. This is North American. Chinese ceramics. I mean, they're, they're stunning pieces and the age of them are, you know, crazy. Here we have methods of making fire. So it's literally just like how all these different places made fire, spinning and windling, lamps and lighting. This is absolutely astonishing. Here's pieces on magic, like witchcraft. You have uh, like mummification, treatment of the dead. So here's literally a tomb or like a coffin from a mummy, which is insane. Think of how old that is. And look at the, you know, paintings on it. Here we have an Egyptian mummy, which is pretty dang cool. You know, look there, that's thought to be like 2,500 years old or 2300 or whatever like just absolutely it's hard to fathom that you know people were even around that long ago and I mean look at these sculptures West African sculptures this is super interesting we have masks of Nigeria Sierra Leone just crazy that's cool look at these uh this whole outfit. Super impressive. Masks of Japan. Really interesting. They're actually like, you know, capturing expression. Wow. And they look very accurate. Here we have uh, parkas actually from Canada of the Inuit nations actually being made of seal intestines. They wore them as like windbreakers, which is amazing and I mean, cool to think about. Look at these furs. Super cool. Here's a summertime one made to uh, basically just protect them from mosquitoes as worn it dances. Pretty cool. Crazy. Huge. And we're here in the famous library square, guys. I mean, these, like, every, all of these buildings everywhere just looks like it's straight out of a movie. It's impressive to say the least but uh let's go in well we're gonna try to figure out the must sees we only got a little bit of time so we'll figure out what we need to see here there's lots of buildings here we have an absolutely insane site and building i have no clue what it is but it is stunning hard to believe that you know somebody could build this x hundreds of years ago and i mean look at the top look at the towers over there man we gotta see over that too like Hard to believe these buildings, you know, have been here for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Just the history of education and like, look at this! Holy crap, dude, that is uh, that is nuts. <laughs> I, yeah, like, just it is so shocking. Really, something to see. 
Here we have the University Church of St. Mary the Virgin. Guys, 1200s. This has been the official church since the 1200s. Look at this, that's what that building is. That is shocking. I don't know how you can build anything that big even nowadays, let alone hundreds of years ago. Stunning. Got some more buildings here, guys. Just so much to see. Cool street here. And here's some other big crazy building. That's basically what I'm realizing. Everywhere you look in Oxford is just like, oh my gosh, look at that building. Followed by like, oh my gosh, look at that building. They're everywhere. Just the architecture is insane. And basically every five steps, I feel like there's something you need to see, just how old all these buildings are. This is really cool. There's this little overpass bridgey thingy thing. It's uh, pretty phenomenal. I think up here, either this or up here is the magic bridge or somewhere, but we're just like in an alley. But just like, look at the, look at the doors. Look at the architecture. Like, like how old do you think this building is? Like, obviously, obviously there's a new door, but look at this guy's like, it sounds funny to be like, hey, look at this rock. But these buildings are so old. Like we just, it's hard to conceptualize that a building could be here for like, you know, 900 years, even 500 years, 200 years, 300 years. It'd still be in good condition too, right? Crazy and usable condition. Yeah. And this is the world famous Magic Bridge it is called. Pretty cool, I will say. Pretty cool. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.